In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series, Dark of the Moon, Sentinel Prime. So, I remember I had a chance to get Sentinel Prime, then decided to pass up on it, and that turned out to be one of the worst mistakes I've ever done. I mean, yeah, I have him now, but I paid almost $90 just for this guy. I think it was originally going to be $75 or something, but with shipping and taxes, it ended up to $88. And yeah, that sucks. But, whatever. I have them now. No biggie. Painting and sculpting on this figure is really good. It really feels like a bit bigger or bulkier than Optimus. Because I thought he was going to be like the same size as Optimus, but turns out he's a bit bigger. And yeah, look at that head sculpt. That's really cool. This figure really is a huge step up to the original Voyager class Sentinel Prime figure, which wasn't all that great. But... Kibble is a bit weird, like this thing, but it's to resemble that weird, that weird way his uh, his back was, I guess. Oh yeah, behind his cape, uh, there's this little thing, this little uh, this is a butt flap. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, and his heels are a bit bigger. Oh yeah, what I like to do is uh, I like to open this up, like all this, and it looks like it's a bit of a matrix chamber, and that looks really cool. Oh yeah, I think we are all aware of the atrocious murder Sentinel Prime committed towards Ironhide. And then Bumblebee's watching and like, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do, I'm out of here. Oh yeah, figure comes with accessory, and this is kind of a bit of a lazy-ish thing. I mean, they did some decent detail on this side, but then they, uh... They didn't really do that for this side because this is for trans. This is for the um, alternate mode. Oh yeah, and this thing has uh, articulation, and it's kind of annoying because sometimes uh, you'll bend it without noticing. It's so annoying, so cringe. By the way, you could split this open, so that way you could just tab the top one first, and then the bottom one just goes in. There we go. And yeah, there's Sentinel Prime with his uh, sword. Yeah, when you see a unique sword that looks pretty lethal, you know you're busted. Optimus is completely gone at this point. Oh wait, never mind. Forgot he gets wrecked here. Anyways, let's just get down to size comparison. Bumblebee, Soundwave, Crowbar, Thundercracker, Ironhide, Optimus, Shockwave, and Megatron. So yeah, I don't have any of the OGs. Anyways, let's just get to articulation. Ball joint at the head, swivel, ups and downs. This little backpack moves up, and these side panels spread. If you want, you could consider this part of the articulation. Full rotation at the shoulder, shoulder moves out. Bend at the elbow, elbow swivel, wrist swivel. Oh yeah, you're gonna need to move this out. Uh. A bit of a waist swivel, like to move up that far, can move all the way back that far. These side panels are pretty useless. Anyways, leg can spread, bend at the knee, knee rotation, and foot can move up and down. So yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. Now let's get down at transformation. I guess you can start off by closing in his little shoulder pads. Close this in, move this to that degree, come to the chest and open them up, especially the little back ones. Then you can go ahead and close that in. Same thing with the other one. Push the head all the way down, and then you can go ahead and rotate that. Then you're gonna come to this, you're gonna open it up, open it all the way up, make sure these little, uh, whatever you wanna call these thingamajigs are pointing up like that. Hope the camera showed what I was trying to show. I'm gonna go ahead and tab this in. Make sure that tab right there pegs into the slot right there. And you're gonna go ahead and push that in. Oh yeah, and this will tab into place. You're gonna push this in. Make sure that tabs in. Then you're gonna push the hand onto a tab like this one. You do the same thing for the other one. Oh yeah, you close that in. And there we go. Now we gotta do the legs. Unless you wanna stop right here. Oops. Alright, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna untab this. 
little uh, panel over here in which it is on a ball joint so you can just pop it off make sure it's facing this direction open this up separate the front part of the leg and then this will rotate and then you can go ahead and tab this in and then uh, adjust the foot like that. Same goes for the other one and then you'll simply just tab everything in especially for the bottom there's a tab that will go in there. Oh yeah these useless side panels might be sticking out so you might want to make sure you close that in and then you go ahead and untab the waist move it up and then you could lock everything into place over here. There we go. You do the same for the other side. What's going on? I'm experiencing a bug. Oh. There we go. Lastly, you're going to open this up and it'll just close in like that. And then, of course, there's weapon storage to complete the alternate mode transformation. Just gonna split this, move that little thing over there. And then, we'll just tab it over there. And then everything will just tab in like that. So, yeah, there you go. That's Sentinel Prime in his uh, fire truck mode. You know, I've never seen this type of fire truck in my entire life. I always see a different type of fire truck like I've never seen this one like at all I'm pretty sure it's one of those rare and expensive ones because Michael Bay loves using expensive cars for his Transformers films or he did I'm assuming this is where MGO got the 316 thing that can't be the case his channel came out two years prior to uh Dark of the Moon could MGO have predicted Dark of the Moon in a way we may never know. So anyways, this truck looks good, but if you somehow miraculously uh, lose these uh, swords by any chance, uh, Karma does kind of looks a little off without these. By the way, this truck is a little, it feels a little long, and it feels really good. This figure feels really good. Oh yeah, by the way, you could uh, untab this, and then you could use the little hose. Or I don't think this is a hose. I think this is, uh... Actually, I think it's the hose, because the little nozzle over here. I don't know. If it were the hose, it would have been, like, either here or on the side. Oh, wait. It's on the front this time. I think this little thing is used to, uh, go up and then extend into buildings in order to save people who can't get down from, uh, burning buildings. That's a nice touch. It looks to me like this little piece right here is uh, an extra hose, just in case a firefighter is going on a room engulfed with uh, fire and needs to hose it down. I guess that's a little work smarter, not harder technique. And that was only in 2011. I wonder what nearly updated 2022 fire trucks look like now. I wouldn't have known because I always see this uh, classic version. Not the 40s one, this different version. And yeah. That's pretty much it for the review of Sentinel Prime. That's all I had to say for. Didn't really have much to talk about for this figure. Other than the fact that it's too expensive. But that's never going away. And it doesn't really make any sense because Sentinel Prime is hated by the fans. I mean, Iron Eye dying? That's a stab to the chest and maybe even a twist. Or actually, no, Ratchet's death was a twist. Anyways, slam that like. Share this with your friends, turn on post notification, hit that big red button, see ya.